there's one late change on the Dublin team. Paul Flynn is ruled out because of injury, and Jason Whelan, who was left out of the original 15th, is brought back in at right half forward. The side features the return of James McCarthy, who replaces his clubmate Philly McMahon. Brian Cullen is also recalled, and Kevin O'Brien starts at right corner back. Stephen O'Neill is out of the Tyrone team. He's been injured in the warm-up and won't start. Conor McCallisky takes his place. It's a serious blow to Tyrone, but they are able to welcome back Joe and Justin McMahon, along with Paddy McNeese. Michael Darrow McCauley runs straight into Sean Kavanagh. Now it's James McCarthy. Loves to get forward and will do so at every opportunity. Joe McMahon there with him, Paul Mannion, he's been a star of this campaign. Keane O'Sullivan, they could be in here, and O'Sullivan's dragged it wide, a long way wide from Keane O'Sullivan. Should have at least drawn a save out of Niall Morgan in the Tyrone goal. This had goal written all over it. Nice move, Colin McCarran perhaps just distracted Keane O'Sullivan. Here come Tyrone, plenty of pace in both of these teams, Mark Donnelly. And now it's Sean Kavanagh bursting through. Kavanagh with Tyrone's first point. They draw level in the fifth minute. Lightning attack from Tyrone. Could have conceded a goal down at the other end, but they're level thanks to Sean Kavanagh, his 16th point of this campaign. Michael Darrow McCauley, open road in front of him. Jack McCaffrey on his right shoulder. Paddy Andrews and Connolly raiding through. Here's Connolly. Real pressure put on Connolly by Matty Donnelly, but it wasn't enough, and the ball has gone over the bar. Two in a row from Dermot Connolly. He looks to be up for this, and Dublin now lead by three. Michael Darrow McCauley, well, where was his marker in the rest of the Tyrone half back line? And Connolly drove that over. 4 1. Joe McMahon. Good movement in the forwards. Here's Mark Donnelly. Four goals and four points he scored. He's got an eye for goal. McCaffrey put him under pressure. Goal chance, and uh, it's gone over. Connor McCallisky, well, Donnelly, Mark Donnelly made the initial incision. It's their first point in some nine minutes. Here's Paul Mannion. Mannion under significant pressure from TJ Quinn, but getting around him. And there's Martin Penrose back with him. But the referee spotted a foul on Paul Mannion. Dublin have a free. Paul Mannion of Kilmacud Croaks and Dublin. They try and work something a little different with Brian Cullen. Cullen on his left boot trying to draw that in. It looks good. It looks very good, and it is from Brian Cullen. But the Tyrone defenders looked a little surprised that Paul Mannion played the initial free quickly into Brian Cullen. Nice finish. It just hung on right at the end. Dublin go back in front. Michael Darren McCauley picking up the loose possession again. Such an impressive sight at full pace, and they go in for another point. Lovely score, 7-4, all made by Michael Darren McCauley's initial break, and uh, it's Paddy Andrews who applies the finish. Martin Penrose for Tyrone. Paddy McNeese just chipping it forward, Conor McCallisky who's come in for Stephen O'Neill, Johnny Cooper there with him, it's got very dark in Croke Park, they could be in here, oh brilliant, almost perfection, it's gone over the bar from Sean Cavanagh for a point anyway, but you can be sure when he got in there he was thinking goal, a great anticipation and a very fine finish from Cavanagh to do that, stretching just as he made contact with the ball, Cavanagh with his second point. Conor Clark of Tyrone, Loose pass, Michael Darrow McCauley lets it move very quickly. Here's Jason Whelan. Good stop by Niall Morgan. Really fine save. Oh, over for a point from Paul Mannion. Showing his soccer skills. He used to be an underage international for the Republic of Ireland, Paul Mannion. But this was very, very close indeed. The initial save from Niall Morgan was a really good stop. But Paul Mannion's point, Dublin lead 9-7. Gormley of Tyrone can go right or left or right down the middle Connor Gormley and nobody in a blue jersey got close enough to him and Connor Gormley gets his first point of this league final and Tyrone just won't go away Aidan Cassidy 
the substitute. Connor McCallisky. Additional time at the end of the first half. McCallisky was just nudged by Darren Daly as he made contact with that, but it didn't put him off. Great score from Connor McCallisky. And Tyrone draw level, the sides level for the third time in this league final. And that's one of the points of the afternoon from Connor McCallisky. Here comes Sean Kavanagh for Tyrone now. Mark Donnelly is available. Connor McCallisky has got away from Johnny Cooper, but Martin Penrose. Great turn from Penrose. They could be in here, and that's gone over the bar from Mark Donnelly. What a turn from Martin Penrose to get away from the Dublin defender. Dancing feet from Martin Penrose and Tyrone leading by 14 points to 13. Mark Donnelly of Tyrone. Donnelly been dragged back by Dean Rock. Free in for Tyrone. And Niall Morgan will be given another chance to do his stuff for Tyrone. Mickey Hart having a chat with Conor McCallisky. The wind is getting a little stronger. There's Bernard Brogan sitting with the rest of the Dublin substitutes. 21-year-old Niall Morgan. Four out of 14 points, he's kicked for Tyrone. He's looking anxiously after that one, but he needn't worry. Brilliant from Niall Morgan, and Tyrone go in front. They've been the team forcing the issue since the match restarted, and they lead by 15 points to 14. Here comes Ger Brennan. Dublin have had to play catch-up all the way through the second half. Tyrone have been going in front, Dublin have been drawing level. But there's never been more than a point between them. Eight times we've been level. There is the possibility, in the event of a draw, of extra time. Kevin McManaman. Connor Clark in front of it. McManaman goes back for help from Paddy Andrews. Dean Rock is available. Here goes Rock, got it back from James McCarthy. Dean Rock, brilliant point. Very fine score from Dean Rock. Space is at a premium in there. Some quick passing from Andrews and McCarthy, and back to Dean Rock, and that Ballymun 1-2 brought the equaliser, 16 each, just over three minutes to go. 16 apiece in the Division One League final, Darren Daly. Time for one last attack, Philly McMahon. Shane Carthy, Kevin McManaman couldn't hang on to it, dived on the ball though. Great play from Kevin McManaman and got up to his feet as well. Here's Dean Rock, got the equaliser not so long ago. That's very high and it's gone over the bar. Dean Rock. Stunning score from Dean Rock. It seemed to hang up there for ages and Dublin go in front. They lead for the first time in the second half. 17 points to 16. We're in the last minute of the 70. Here's Jack McCaffrey. Dublin lead by a point. McCaffrey bursting through. McCaffrey! Over the bar, tipped over by Niall Morgan, but Dublin have a two-point lead. I think he was caught in two minds as to what to do with this, slot it over or go for the goal. Morgan couldn't take the chance, Dublin lead by two, and now we're playing that one added minute. Here come Tyrone, they need a goal. Matty Donnelly, Dublin have only conceded five goals in this league campaign. Sean Kavanagh for Tyrone, goes for the point and gets it. So, back to within one. Tyrone still have time, they need possession from Cluxton's kick-out. They need possession from here. The one minute of added time almost up and Cluxton has kicked it straight out over the line. The one minute is just about gone. Connor Clark goes sideways, will the referee allow Tyrone one last attack when they've lost the ball? There's no foul there, the one minute is up. James McCarthy gone down injured and there is the whistle for full time. What a gripping second half, in total the sides level nine times. But it's Dublin who win the league title for the first time in 20 years, beating Tyrone by 18 points to 17. Dublin are Allianz Football League champions for 2013. 
nine real competitive games in the National League and, and uh, some of them haven't gone down to the wire and it's good, a good test for us now going into the Championship with five weeks to go to, to be put to the pin of our collar as you say and, and to see what uh, reaction we get from the squad so no matter what way the result went we were just interested to see that and we knew that we were going to get a real tough game from Tyrone so we're happy with the result.